Hey guys! Hey! Hey! We're we're actually doing an event. <laughs> so, viewers, I promised this event a long time ago. We're doing it. Uh, before we go any farther, I should mention that this is a capture the flag event. I uh, never really mentioned that in the opening. Anyways, continuing on. So, anyways, hi. This is crazy. This is the hackster. I call this is actually crazy pig carrots. I, I call I call them crazy. Uh, Sabrina Star 101 and um. Babel Dolphin, also known as Ramen, Ramen World, ra what, Ram Ramen, Ramen Nation, Ram Ramen Nation, uh, <laughs> did I miss anyone? I don't think I missed anyone, okay great, there's only five of us here, um, there are a lot more people involved with this uh, event, uh, but they just couldn't make it on for the, um, intro, there's gonna be a 24 hour build period where people can get on whenever they can and start building on the base, um, but besides that, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna get started, so, uh, basically rules we should get to that um, so you're not allowed to use any lava like spamming of lava you can put some lava here and there on the floors and whatnot and like use lava for traps uh, but you're not allowed to just flat out use lava all over the ground and cover your whole base um, you're not allowed to use vindicators vent vin vin vindicators I think that's what they're called um, the like super magical guys that have those little vexes uh, they're not they're not allowed because they're a little bit OP. Uh, you're allowed to use blazes. Uh, you're allowed to use uh, skeletons, zombies, whatever. Uh, no creepers, no creepers. Um, you're allowed to use gas, but they have to be in a cage. You're not allowed to just have them all over your build. Uh, and you're allowed to use like a few Endermen, but like don't go crazy with Ender Endermen just spamming them all over the place. Um, I'll send difficulty and whatnot in a minute. Um, be respectful. Don't just go and spam TNT everywhere, because that's not cool. That's not fun and fresh for everyone. Um, and just gentlemen rules, so just be chill, be nice, and be respectful. Um, no commands. That's not that's not okay. Um, I don't think you guys have access to them anyways. But if you somehow hack, don't don't use the commands. Um, I won't be using commands myself, even though I do have access to them. I promise. Um, you are allowed to build like TNT cannons. You are allowed to build TNT as long as it does not destroy everyone else's base and whatnot. Um, if I, I don't think I'm leaving anything out, I should have probably taken notes and thought of more rules that like will help the game go smoothly. But I trust all you guys. I know most of you guys very well, um, and the people I don't, I haven't known for that long. I, I they seem cool. So, anyways, uh, let's get started. Um, so everyone on Team Team T, which is uh, me, I, the Hackster, Sabrina, um, come over here on this side, and Bagel and Crazy Pig Carrots uh, go on the other side. So these are the two teams. Um, and then Just let me say that this is what all our viewers should do right now: subscribe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't finish building the it, it's, it's good <laughs> enough. We get it. We do get it. Subscribe, guys. <laughs> Just saying. I mean, like, yeah, that's subscribe. a good idea. Subscribe. Yeah. Smash like, subscribe, notification bell, share with all your friends, you know, all that jazz. Wow, anyway, way to be the real good. gamer. Anyways, thank you, because I do appreciate <laughs> that, so, so now I don't have to be the real gamer. Um, <laughs> anyways. Right, so, who was on each side? Alright, so, um, <laughs> me, Hackster, um, Sabrina, we're on uh, Team Teen T, and then Crazy Pig Parrot. <laughs> Crazy Pig <laughs> Carrot. <laughs> Uh, and Bagel Dolphin are on the other team, and then we also have people like Ivy Beastin, uh, Tri Death, Tri Death Bear, Mystery Dragon, people like that are that are going to be on different teams. Uh, you guys, wait, I just realized we're technically on the wrong side, but that doesn't really matter. Um, but anyways, uh, so yeah, just uh, they'll be joining um, team uh, TNT. I'll be notifying the other players about what our base ideas are going to be and whatnot. Um, Team, try, go, please, and after this, explain to your team what your base is going to be like. Uh, but anyways, I think that we should get out of the general call and go into our team calls and start deciding a base ideas. So, I was thinking that we could go for like a more rustic design but filled to the brim with cool new Wait. technology so we go over to the TNT thing. um kind of between the lob the big the big that big thing the big 
thing in the middle uh, and the TNT sign. So, like, around the middle of that. Um, so, okay, the general ginormous area is ours. Yeah, l l let me communicate to the other team that they should not go past the sign. Um, <laughs> one second. So, what, what do you... <laughs> so, what do you guys want to um, have our, like, design look like? Because, like, there should be, like, a theme. But like you can do whatever, and oh. you don't. There doesn't have to be a theme, but I think that'd be nice and cooler. But it's up to you guys. What What do you guys want to do? You're saying more of like a rustic thing, so maybe. Um, well, rustic is normally more stone based and whatnot. Um, so maybe our palette can be like we have some stone bricks, maybe a little cobblestone. I'm down for that. Polished andesite, maybe. Maybe we could have a, a certain type of log somewhere in there, but if it's stone, maybe we want to go with like dark oak or maybe spruce. Okay. I think that'll look kind of cool. Since we're in creative mode, unless it is against the rules, maybe we throw in a little bedrock in there. Um, bedrock is allowed, but it isn't. it should not be used to guard a flag. Oh, yeah, I never even mentioned that we have three flags. So me maybe you can <laughs> bedrock as, like, a texture in, like, the flooring. Yeah, maybe. that, that, I'll allow that for sure. Um. And then just to give it maybe a pop of color. Some type of terracotta. I don't know, what do we want our color to be? Um. What if we did... Hmm. That's a good question. Maybe we could do something... No, I'm really not good at building. You're the builder here, Sabrina. <laughs> well, I was thinking if we wanted to stick with, like, the signs color to be red, we could do, like, red terracotta. I'm down for that. pink terracotta. Um, I think pink terracotta might be nice. Yeah, because it kind of does mesh a little bit better. And what I love, I forgot already about this update, is... Not only do we have our normal stairs and slabs, but we also have new polished variants. See, you're Amazing. you're you're the builder. I I'm so bad at building, and I don't care for new blocks like that. <laughs> yeah, I'm not a builder either, by the way. So good luck. Yeah, I'm redstoneer. I I'll build redstone. You're in charge yeah. of building, Sabrina. <laughs> yeah, I do some redstone stuff too. I'm a terrible builder, so. Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna maybe. take I'm gonna take a screenshot of that. Um. I believe I mean, I'm, I'm thinking of like the redstone traps to build <laughs> yeah same i'm already thinking about tnt cannons to launch us to the other side um oh you are allowed to use elytra by the way yeah oh. uh we'll have three f you're not allowed to use rockets though uh by the way um you'll have three flags that we have to guard from the other team um and then also try and make your base stylish i'm gonna go communicate those more things to the other team because i'm really bad at communicating things to the other team I, what about like, the general location? Where do we want that? Do we want it more so in the middle here, or...? Um, that is up to you guys. I think that we should probably clear up these water holes right here. Um, and then probably build it... I'll b definitely build the TNT cannon a little bit closer to the ravine. Um, but the base should probably be a little bit farther away so that they have more... Uh, they have to travel farther distances. Maybe the center of the base could be like right here. Yeah, I'd say that's about good. No explosives. <laughs> All right, guys. So here we go. We have a nice little water elevator um, going now. A very simple redstone that looks really awful, actually. If you take like that grass like away and that grass away, uh, but it, um, it works. It's my first time building one of those elevators. I'll switch back to magma. Uh, but anyways, I also built t a TNT cannon. So if we sit right here press this button you'll see all the TNT comes our way and any second a little bit of super lag will be launched up will be launched up very high so that now we can activate our elytra and fly all the way over to their base and it looks like they're building a big hole that's fun it definitely you'll you feel feel the server lag while they're doing that anyways um I'll probably I don't know what I'm gonna do I'll, I'll, I'll keep you guys posted. Alright guys, so this is what we're basically going to be building. It's a TNT cannon. I've already built one, as you can see, but 
I'm gonna build a few more because why not? All right, guys, so I should be recording more, and I'm sorry that I'm not. Uh, some cr some crazy things have happened so far. Um, obviously, there's that. Um, there's that. That, that, that. <laughs> um, yeah, there's a lot happening. Uh, we have our triple team T cannons over here. Uh, and then also, I built a very small trap right here. Basically, you walk over it, lava comes in, and you fall into it. Um, so there's that. And then also, uh, the hackster has been very hard at work, as you can see, building this very very nice wall filled with blazes and it's very impressive um, and then over here at Sabrina's um, build you can see that it's really coming along you can uh, really see what it's gonna turn out to be at the end and then we're gonna hide a flag at the top in the middle and down at the bottom uh, we're gonna make a nice little basement dungeon whatever you want to call it uh, should be very very nice uh, you can probably also tell the lag that's from this I'm pretty sure uh, oh, but okay. Yeah, yeah, more than likely. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's really coming along. I'm going to sign off for tonight. Um, I'll probably be, be on maybe in a few more hours. Uh, and I'll also definitely be on tomorrow. And we extended the time limit to 48 hours instead of 24. Uh, so that will give us plenty more time. And because we're all in school and whatnot. Also, hopefully more uh, members will get on the server uh, and help out. But yeah, that's where we are uh, right now. So see you guys tomorrow. Alright, you guys are probably gonna hate me because I've been so bad at doing updates on everything. Uh, basically, that's what the other team's doing right now. It looks like they're building a really nice castle. Uh, they covered up the TNT blown stuff though, so I'm uh, I'm guessing that they probably want underground at some point. Uh, that's probably where we're gonna have to search. Uh, TNT cans, you guys already saw that. Blazes despawned. We'll respawn them back in once we start um, actually doing everything. Starting the... Um, attack uh, and it has been about 24 hours in remember we're now doing 48 hours instead um, and here you can see that Sabrina has been very hard at work she has done all all of this building <laughs> me and the hackster didn't help at all uh, from my understanding I haven't seen anyone else really on uh, but I don't really know uh, if people have been on or not because I haven't been playing that much uh, as much as I should have probably um, in here it looks absolutely gorgeous uh, really really beautiful uh, so if we go into survival there are command blocks over here that I set up all these do is put you into creative or survival depending on uh, whichever one then over there that's a clear inventory button because uh, the builders on the other side <laughs> yeah it's kind of hard to go one by one to clear items in your inventory uh, but let me go run back and show you how you get up to that top level and the top level I mean is that level up there um, so you'll probably, the, I'm guessing that the enemy team's going to walk in, they're going to be like, oh wow, water elevator, perfect, let's go in there. And they'll probably think, oh, you know, that's going to switch it to soul stand so I can go up there, right? Because, yeah, that makes sense, even though if they look right there, you know, it doesn't connect to anything, we don't talk about that. Uh, but as soon as you walk in here, uh, this will be turned away, you'll be pulled down, and you can see that there's just a ton of pufferfish in here and you, you, will, you will die. And it says, uh, TNT was slain by a dragonfly because all of them are renamed a dragonfly. So I just find it hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, um, but yeah, that's basically what's happening. Um, and it's, I, I think it's great, but there's also uh, more things that I do have to show you guys. Um, and that's over here. This is actually how to get to this top level. Uh, I do have commands, so I'm just gonna go like that for survival. Um, but these guys will open up. They'll sometimes they'll they'll hit you uh, with their their uh, lifty up thingies, and then you'll have to fly up here. Not only will this uh, take away damage, but also a little bit sneaky sneaky, which is always fun and fresh. And then you get lifted over the fence. Uh, and then there's a little thing over here, but this is just um, to like mess with them basically. Um, this goes nowhere. Uh, this, this is the, the upstairs is nothing. What's really interesting is the downstairs, and they're saying that because I use command blocks for uh, survival and whatnot. But anyways, now for the downstairs part, I believe it's on this side. Um, I placed these buttons just kind of randomly around. I should probably place some more uh, over here. Um, people use this looking like it's pebbles, but really, the this button right here, I believe, activates the little drop down. So if we click this and stand right here, hit shift on the slime block, 
uh, you'll be taken down to this little area. Um, I looked at brightness settings and they're a little bit odd for um, for recording wise. I'm not actually seeing what you guys are seeing. Uh, so I'm going to bring a torch down here. Uh, but I found this really nice uh, ravine and I'm pretty sure over here it actually goes to the surface. Uh, yeah, right there. Uh, there's a little poke hole in here. Um, and I thought that it would be really cool to replace some of this with glass and have this be our underground part. Uh, but I may have just lost my way. Oh, down here, down here. This is where it is. Uh, so yeah, I think that's really cool. Uh, that's what I'm working on. Uh, and it should be really uh, fun in the end. Uh, so I'm going to continue working. I'm just going to be placing glass basically and covering up as much as I can. Here it is. Um, so yeah, and then should probably make this a little bit lower though now that I'm thinking about it. Alright guys, so so far uh, you guys already know about all this drop down stuff um, but now if we head over here you can see that I've done a lot of placing glass um, and it looks really cool but the thing is we want the layer by layer hidden uh, which I obviously didn't think of because I made it all glass um, so I think the plan is that I'm gonna replace the glass of uh, the uh, underneath the glass with stone instead of just air uh, except for the very bottom level which we can just show off it's a ravine and lava and whatnot so we'll just make it pure glass um, and I think this will work really well uh, but yeah I've done I've done a lot of glass placing also if we look right here you can see that there's actually a little place uh, that we can probably get into uh, so what I was thinking was placing trap doors uh, probably more like this actually uh, and I'm sorry, it's going to be really hard for you guys to see right now because torches are not something I've placed yet. Um, but yeah, it basically, oh, yeah, that won't work. We'll, we'll have to do it like, like, hmm. I think we have to do it like that and then destroy that. Yeah. And now we can actually get under here. Uh, so I think this could be like a different part of it, which would be really cool. Probably have to stop there because that's the outside. If they see in here, it's not going to be great. Uh, but that's what we have so far, so I'm going to continue placing stone um, and also uh, work on the glass over here. Uh, but yeah, I'm really, really excited for this. It's looking really cool. Uh, also, Sabrina's been working hard um, in the upstairs area, and it's turning out really well. Alright guys, so um, we have all this stone now, so you can't see underneath, uh, except for when you go to the very bottom level, uh, which is over here, I believe. Yep. Uh, you'll be able to go and see the bottom of the ravine, which I find very cool. Um, but there's not much here yet, except for one redstone contraption that Sabrina um, made over above uh, the ground. And then I was like, wait, that'd be great under here. Um, and it's right at the very beginning. You might have noticed a little chest that was laying right here. Um, and if we go into survival, and yes, other people are allowed to go in survival and back into creative. It's not just me with this. Um, but if we open this, it says, haha, you were tricked and you'll get instant um, instant damage and also will get poisoned. And this does actually quite a bit of damage, which I'm really happy about. Uh, and it's a lingering potion, so if we get close to it again, then yeah, once again, not great. Um, oh, shoot. <laughs> oh, that was just a little... <sighs> That's a little bit depressing. Uh, but yeah, so as of right now, I think I'm just going to think of different things to to put in the bottom area. Different redstone contraptions, traps, and also, of course, uh, where we want to put our flag because that's kind of, kind of important. <laughs> Alright, so progress update. Um, you can see that there's some lag when you face this direction, and I'll get to that. Uh, but uh, the Hackster and Sabrina have been very hard at work, uh, and... Well, you'll see that a few more things have popped up. Uh, first of all, these, which I just find really funny. There's no real use to them from my understanding, but they're just cool and funny. Uh, in here, yeah, you'll, oh, oh, I'm, wait, oh, yeah, you have to go on the pressure plate for it to activate. Uh, but there's a little thing over there to surprise them. Uh, over here, we have a TNT cannon that will shoot out. Um, we don't know how far it will go, but it will definitely shoot out TNT. So that's fun. Um, and then if we head over here into, uh, or upstairs, um, then you can actually see where one of our banners have gone. Um, so you go over here, uh, you jump over, where, where was it? I, oh, over here, that's where it was. Um, there's a little roof area and it's filled with shulkers. 
Uh, but basically you have to come over here, you have to jump up here, jump here, and then you have to go up over here. Uh, basically just massive parkour. Um, well, not massive, but it's a parkour. And shulkers will help you actually, but also hurt you. So win lose situation. Um, but yeah, one second. I'll, I'll, once I finish, okay, you know I'm just gonna fly. Uh, so after here, you have to go, go jump up here, up here, up here, all the way around. Uh, and then eventually you'll get here. And they may think, oh dang, it's just a decoy, doy, decoy banner. But nope, the real one's right behind it. And this is our banner design too. Um, so we have that so far, and then if we go downstairs uh, through the secret place, then you can see that there's not much up here. Uh, if we go down here, there's not much down here either, except for that. Uh, and you guys probably know what this is if we walk on through. It's an infinity room. <laughs> I couldn't help myself. I had to make one. Um, if you guys don't know what an infinity room is, <laughs> go check out my video. <clears throat> Uh, link in the description um but it's, it's just a basically a big old room um that yeah obviously you guys can probably tell you just don't know where you're going uh, if you're looking up and down left or right you just don't know um but if you walk in right s straight right here and you go this direction this this direction this where is it there it is you'll fall into lava uh, into water but if we get out of here and you go straight and go the other direction so this way then you will fall into oh or you'll more than likely fall into lava um so yeah you, and then this is going to be the final layer and you guys already know over here that if we just do that and that then there's a secret uh place hidden over here and we'll add traps and whatnot but um this is where the other flag is going to be kept so it's, it's coming along very very well I don't know if I already mentioned it, but we also are giving ourselves another 24 hours uh, because we're all just having a lot of fun on it and really want to make our bases as best we can. Uh, so yeah, now we have three days, I believe, to continue working on this. Uh, but this is already the second day, and tomorrow is the last day, and then we'll actually fight and try to capture each other's flags. <laughs> well, it looks like all my recordings have been lost since... Uh, oh, the, the next day. This is the next day today. Um, I, I never opened up OBS Studios, uh, but it's all right. We will be able to go through everything. Uh, so basically, yeah, the, uh, Sabrina and I believe the Hackster helped on this. Um, they've been t making the exterior uh, look very nice indeed. Uh, put a lot of trees and whatnot. Uh, so pass and this tower. Uh, this tower actually, if you go and walk in here, there's a pressure plate. Oh. Oh, this is something new. Don't think I was supposed to activate that, but it's it's okay. We'll we'll fix it. Um, so yeah, there's that. I'll fix that a little bit later. Actually, I'll I'll do it right now. And also, there's a there's a decoy banner in there. Never said that those weren't allowed. So I mean, like, eh. Um, but uh, also, if we go in here and to our secret little place. Press this button, and it's the cracked stone brick. We changed it to that. Um, and we go down here. I do have a night vision potion on right now. It's it's like super dark in here. There's no light. Uh, you guys already saw this, but if we go in here and we fall down, uh, and then I look this pl uh, the downstairs level with redstone torches, which doesn't emit that much light, but it's something. Uh, you guys will see that um, there's this little little sticky this this piston whatnot stuff. And this will basically just launch you back up to uh, the second layer because we realized that there's no way to get up, so <laughs> a little bit of an issue. Um, but then also if we go into our newly done place over here, um, you guys can see it's looking absolutely beautiful. Sabrina really t <laughs> took time on this place and just put a bunch of ores and whatnot, made it look very nice. And that's the real banner. That is real. That's not a decoy. Um, and it, so basically, let, let's go into survival really fast. I have to go over uh, to uh, actually I can just do slash game mode survival. But let me get let me get myself some armor and whatnot first. So enchantments are not allowed. Uh, golden apples are allowed, but I don't know if I'll make more or not. And enchanted golden apples are not allowed. I'll have to mention that to the other other people before we start. Uh, but basically, uh, if we go into game mode survival. 
and we go into this place. Now, there's going to be a floor that's going to open up. You guys will see. Uh, I'm not going to fall in there, but if they run for it, then they will fall in there, like, almost for sure. Um, also, it's it's dark in here. You guys can see my night vision potion is going to wear off, and I'll show you guys how dark it is. Um, but, of course, it's going to be really hard for you guys to see because it's a little bit different with you guys um, because uh, it's recording instead. Uh, so let me give myself a potion really fast. There we go. But anyways, if we take out our sword and go for it, now that's going to open up. And then also... Hmm. Like I was saying, um, if we go over here, then these guys will all fall down and will start attacking... Okay. That was faster than I even <laughs> expected slash remembered. Whew, they just came at me. Okay, so yeah, um, also I should mention that there are no um, enchantments. I don't know if I already said that, but yeah, there's, there's none of those. Um, but of course, they are allowed to come back and give it another shot. Um, they're, they're allowed to go for as many times as they want. Uh, no more monsters will fall. And by the way, those guys did have strength too. Uh, I have a strength 2 potion splashed on them right before they fall, uh, which obviously helps out a lot. Um, and then also, uh, they did have, um, oh, I already have armor. Uh, they did have, um, diamond armor and diamond swords, so. Yeah, all that, all that definitely helps, but this is how it really is, like, when you go in here. <laughs> kind, kind of interesting. Luckily, the redstone does help. Ooh, almost fell in there again. Um, oh, I'm not, I'm not on survival. Yeah, I was wondering why they weren't going after me. I was eating a golden apple. And then, yeah, uh, I've done this before, uh, and it is definitely possible. It does take some time, and you do have to be careful, and mo biggest advice would be don't be afraid to bail. Don't. It, yeah. And also, if you lure them here, then you can just, just do that on them, you know? Really helps out a lot. Anyways, uh, let's get back to the rest of the video. And I don't know why I said rest of the video, because, I mean, like, we're, we're still gonna, we're still... <laughs> in the exact same like place I, that that wasn't like a time lapse or anything that that was that was just, just, just me talking stupidly anyways um i think that's about all that is new so far um but this is the last day this is i mean how much longer oh we have an hour and 15 minutes left okay let, let's start building we need one more place to put our flag with about 20, almost 20 minutes exactly until building is over, uh, I took it upon myself to make uh, the last flag room. And if we look around here, you'll see a little lava thing that was not here before. And that's exactly where the last flag is. So uh, if we come over here, we're in survival currently, uh, and we go up here and we jump for it, then we'll go into water, into here. Oh, no lag, no lag killed me. Basically, it, you hit um, you hit lava first, uh, which is the top layer. Then you hit some water so that you won't die, uh, and then you hit some uh, hit slime blocks. You have to jump here. I'll do it in creative. Oh man, the server is not doing great. It should get restart. But anyways, uh, you'll see that there are some um, sticky uh, stick uh, slime blocks down here, um, and dispensers. Those are filled with lava. And when you activate uh, these uh, tripwire hooks, then basically lava comes pouring out. Um, and if you do not make it up here, then you you will get you'll burn to your death, as you saw. Uh, but let's try this one more time in survival mode. Uh, it is surprisingly hard to do, uh, but it, it's definitely possible, and I have done it before. All right, so here we go, and we jump for it. Go down here, get hit there and then ooh, oh we didn't quite make it uh you do actually hit the water and um it can affect your jump compared to what you think is about to happen um so yeah you have to be careful about that but it is possible it is possible i will get it on camera Okay, so I think the trick is to hold shift. 
Uh, but anyways, now you can see the flag, but there's also a lot of pressure plates in here that they are not allowed to destroy. If you walk on them, you'll be hit with the slowness potion. Ugh. Ugh. And it is very annoying. And I don't know if this is slowness or tur turtle master, but yep. And then eventually you will get up here. Uh, if you survive the puffer fish that are in this lake, then you will officially have the flag and you are good to go. And you can just run away to your base. Alright guys, that rounds off today's video. We have exactly 10 minutes until building is done and there's nothing else that I can really think of that I want to add. Um, so, final tour. Uh, so first of all, you have to go through here. Um, in here are a bunch of blazes. So if I flick this switch right here, uh, then that wall will become open and all these blazes will start shooting at whoever starts to approach and they're all re renamed a bunny so when you get killed it'll say you have been slain by a bunny which I find hilarious um, second of all there are TNT cannons as uh, this will launch them over on their side uh, there's another TNT cannon right here this one's a little bit more powerful I believe uh, and then there's also our elytra takeoff TNT uh, powered cannon uh, this one shoots you up into the air so that you can activate your elytra. Um, and that the TNT cannon over there is with that switch. I know a lot of TNT guys, right? Um, there are water elevators and whatnot to get up here. There's these guys, which I love. Um, there's this big building, which is actually just a trap, as you guys saw late, uh, earlier in the video. Uh, Sabrina D did all of this exterior, from my understanding. Uh, and she also did all of the... Um, building for like all the building this whole building was created by her not none of um, the other members from my understanding uh, the, me and the hackster are like the only other two that are on the team besides Sabrina and we did the redstone part uh, so first of all uh, first part you guys already you guys just saw this so uh, this is the flag capture and it's get right there and then you get brought up to this lake which I added a bunch more puffer fish hope it's not too many they can always kill them off but anyways if you go inside and then you take a turn right here or you get hit by a shulker whichever way you want to get up here uh, suggest the ladder it's a little bit more safe but you can come up here and you can start doing the parkour to get uh, the other flag and this is surprisingly tricky actually um, unless you get hit by shulkers, then they make it a lot easier, but also then you have the risk of falling to your doom. Um, but it's, it's not, it's not terrible. I'm not going to do it all, but yeah, it's, it can be tricky for some people. And then we have a decoy flag up here. Um, if they don't realize that's a decoy, then they'll, uh, if they realize that's a decoy, then they'll probably just leave because they know what our flag will look like, but they will probably notice that their real flag is right behind that one. Uh, and then they have to somehow get down without being shot by shulkers and falling to their doom. Uh, but if we head inside now, there are a few things. First of all, there is this trap. So it's a water elevator. They think that that's going to switch to slow sand, but really brings them down. And then there's a single puffer fish down here. Yeah, we'll probably have to get some more puffer fish down here. Uh, but yeah, there there is that. Oh, almost forgot. There's also that. So Sabrina, she's the best at bows and arrows from our understanding. So if she shoots that, that's going to uh, have TNT fall right on this tree. Tree. So that she can blow up a tree if she wants at any time. Uh, but anyways, continuing on uh, with the full tour. If we go over to this side, uh, no, the other side, uh, they have to find the right button to activate this little trap door part and then if they go down here you guys have seen this many times over uh, let me get a night vision potion going on though because it's really hard for you guys to see for some reason um, I made this part basically all by myself a uh, little bit help here and there from everyone but uh, this was uh, designed by Sabrina for the most part it's basically a trap chest when you open that uh, potions will be spat out at you uh, but you can see there's no, no potions in the dispenser, but yet when we still open this, you can see that we get poison effect. Uh, that's just have to do with blocking hoppers and whatnot. Uh, on this level, there isn't much except for this right here. Um, and if we open this door, oh. And if we press this button to open the door, 
jump scare not really but i mean like it's something i tried my best mumbo jumbo go check him out link in the description uh but anyways uh i'm gonna set this guy back up again and then i'll show you guys the rest to this level all right so the second part to this level is this an infinity room and if you walk this way and to the left then you'll fall in water and be safe if you go the other way you'll fall in lava and die uh, and then you'll have to go here. Uh, this is the way to get back up. But if you go over here to this trapdoor right here, and you flick it and, and do this and this and that, uh, go in here. There is a tripwire hook, which will either make players fall underneath there, and somehow I missed that, or it'll just unleash some of these guys with diamond armor and diamond swords uh, to attack you. So both are pretty deadly, but if you do get back, uh, back to here, and don't get killed somehow then you can take the flag and go back this direction go under this trap door under this trap door and then go over here and go up here press this button be launched be okay um that was partly my fault be launched up there we go and you can go and escape with your flag uh so that's about everything i believe we got this done in three days um with Sabrina, me, and the Hackster all playing. Uh, and I really, really love how it has turned out. It's been really fun. Um, but before I go, I do have to mention my sponsor for today's video. And I know my very own sponsor. I'm very excited. Uh, anyways, my sponsor is Sticky Piston. Uh, Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a pretty great price. Um, we are doing this whole event on a Sticky Piston server, by the way. Uh, so that's very cool. Uh, Sticky Piston also has uh, many different servers from like modded Minecraft servers uh, to like these little mini games. Uh, so you can pick and choose what you want exactly, or you can just go for a uh, flat out survival server and just customize it yourself or creative. Um, they also have a great and easy way for controlling your server. Uh, so you don't have to go to all these different web pages and whatnot uh, to be able to control what you want and do not want in your server. Uh, so yeah, they're very cool. You can go check them out. Uh, link in the description. Uh, you can also try out one of their free uh, trial servers. Uh, those are very cool. So go check them out. Give them a shot. Uh, but anyways, it's, that's all for today's episode. Uh, so go go check out the Sabrina Sabrina's and the Hexers channel if you want to see um, how they built this. I don't know if we're all releasing this at the same time, but you know you can always go check it out uh, once it is released. And also bagels and um, crazy pig carrots and also tri depth bear. Uh, go check th out them because they also have built a base over on that side. Uh, still, we're not allowed over there though, so I don't, I can't give you guys a tour. Uh, but episode will be coming out uh, hopefully next. Hopefully, maybe it'll be Tazcraft next. Uh, but an episode will be out where we actually go and fight, which should be really fun, and I am very excited for it. Uh, so thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, then hit the subscribe button. Anyways, goodbye.